Wavy Navy Pooh was one of Quality Control Records' most promising up-and-coming signees, but news just broke that he allegedly lost his life in an ambush attack in his hometown of Miami. Let's take a closer look at what happened. According to the Miami Herald, a man was shot to death after being ambushed while driving in a car in West Kendall near the Miami Zoo. The victim was stopped at a red light at the intersection of South 152nd Street and 127th Avenue. He was driving a Toyota Camry with an adult woman and two young boys who were one and five years old. While they were stopped at the intersection, a gray four-door Lexus pulled up on his side and opened fire, killing the driver. The woman and two children wasn't injured, but was likely traumatized by what happened. Miami-Dade police ain't identified the victim yet, but rumors started to spread on social media that it was Miami rapper Wavy Navy Poo. Wavy Navy Poo is a rapper signed to QC Records, known for tracks like Money On My Head and Goo Wop. QC is a label behind major names like Lil Baby, The Migos, Lil Yachty, and City Girl. It was founded by Coach K and P, two Atlanta music industry OGs who have close ties to Gucci Mane. Over the past 10 years, QC has been behind some of the biggest stars in the game. Wavy Navy Poo was one of the label's newest up-and-coming rappers and was in a good position to be their next major star. But unfortunately, it looks like Wavy Navy Poo was another rapper who tragically lost his life before he could reach his full potential. The official Quality Control Instagram account confirmed the news by posting a pic of the rapper that said rest in peace, along with a caption that read, it is with great sadness and a heavy heart that we announce the loss of one of our beloved artists, Wavy Navy Poo. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family at this time. Hashtag RIP Wavy Navy Poo. They also posted a photo that said, your music will live on above the covers of his two albums, Endangered and Miami, Murder is a Major Issue. P, one of the label's founders, also took to social media to mourn the loss, posting, sad day, bruh, may God keep your family. So it's been confirmed that Pooh had passed away. In an interview with the Dirty Glove Bastard, Pooh talks about growing up in the rough streets of Miami. He was from the Liberty City neighborhood, an area known for crime and poverty. He said that growing up, he had it fine but there was so much death and violence around him at all times that it was hard not to get sucked into it. It felt like every week someone he knew got killed, which would only lead to more violence. In high school, he played football, which mostly kept him out of trouble and out of the streets. But as he got older, it got harder and harder. He jumped off the porch around 16 or 17. When he found out the only school where he could get a football scholarship was all the way in North Dakota, he felt like he had no other choice. He also worked in construction for a few years before rapping, but he was always dabbling with the music. He said it just came naturally to him, and his homies always encouraged him to take it seriously. He was inspired by rappers like 50 Cent, Chief Keef, and Lil Wayne. But when he signed to QC, he didn't even have any original songs out yet. He was just releasing remixes to popular songs by rappers like Lil Durk and Kodak Black. Then, he connected with P through Instagram after networking in DMs. He started going through the followers of another popular rap blog slash IG account called T-Tenders and started sending his music to the people she followed. He came across a dude who was a Zoe. Pooh's also Haitian, so he reached out to him and sent over his remixes. The dude liked his music, so he started reposting it, and one of the first songs he put up was liked by P from QC. After that, P DM Poo and told him to send over some music. Poo sent him his number, and they eventually hopped on the phone. P told him to work on some original music, and then connect with him to talk business. That eventually led to the rapper signing a deal with QC, which allowed him to quit his construction job and pursue music full time. In April 2020, he dropped a song and video for Miami, Murder is a Major Issue, which became his breakout track. He followed up with his debut album of the same name not long after. The artwork features 16 photos of people he lost to gun violence, but his come up was far from easy. Since coming into the game, Wavy Navy Pooh continued to deal with drama in his own city. In May 2020, he was shot while driving on a 3100 block of Northwest 88th Street. He was hit in the thigh and leg, but survived. When police arrived on the scene, he told them that he fired back in self-defense after someone in a passing car shot at him and several other dudes chilling outside of a nearby house. According to police, Pooh is also suspected of being involved in a series of shootings that happened in North Miami-Dade over the past year. Authorities was already preparing for retaliation attacks over the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend. But the shooting ain't stopped his grind. In September 2020, Pooh linked up with Gucci Mane for the track Goo Wop, which took his career to the next level. His connections at QC helped him secure a verse from one of the most influential rappers in the game for his first official feature. He followed up with a second project, Endangered, in May 2021. The album featured Moneybag Yo on the song Money On My Mind, which became another one of Pooh's biggest songs. So he definitely had star potential and was already linking up with some of the biggest artists in the game. But unfortunately, Pooh never made it far enough in the rap game to make it out of his own city. He claimed in interviews that he was paranoid living in Miami because so many people around him had that crab in the barrel mentality. Now that he was doing well with his music, he was dealing with a lot more hatred and jealousy. Even though Pooh tried to distance himself from the streets, he's been guilty of dissing his ops in his music. He claims Chief Keefe was one of the artists in his age bracket who inspired him to really start rapping. He also compared Miami to Chicago with the way that rappers diss each other's hoods and dead homies in their music. The exact motive behind his murder ain't been determined, but based on the circumstances, it seemed like the shooting was targeted and was probably motivated by jealousy or past beef. 
Wavy Navy Pooh had a bright future ahead of him if he could have just left the beef alone and focused on his rap career. He had all the right people behind him and seemed committed to changing his life. But unfortunately, he never had that major hit that allowed him to leave his city and avoid all the drama. But he left behind a solid catalog of music that'll carry on his memory. R.I.P. Wavy Navy Pooh.